Do people like Magnus Carlsen more than Garry Kasparov? The preference for Magnus Carlsen or Garry Kasparov is subjective and varies among individuals within the chess community and beyond. Both players are highly regarded and have made significant contributions to the game of chess, but they have different playing styles, personalities, and eras of dominance. Here are some factors to consider when examining the popularity of each player. Playing style. Magnus Carlsen and Garry Kasparov have distinct playing styles. Carlsen is known for his deep positional understanding, endgame prowess, and strategic approach. On the other hand, Kasparov was renowned for his aggressive and tactical play, often seeking complications on the board. Preferences for playing styles may differ among chess enthusiasts, with some gravitating towards Carlsen's methodical approach and others appreciating Kasparov's dynamic and combative style. Era and Exposure Carlsen and Kasparov played in different eras, which affects their level of exposure and popularity among different generations of chess players and fans. Kasparov's prime was in the 1980s and 1990s when he dominated the chess world and held the World Chess Championship title for a long period. He had high-profile matches against Anatoly Karpov and Vladimir Kromnik, which received significant media attention. Carlsen, on the other hand, rose to prominence in the late 2000s and became World Chess Champion in 2013. His success coincided with the rise of online chess platforms and streaming, allowing him to reach a wider global audience. Cultural and regional factors. Popularity can also be influenced by cultural and regional factors. Kasparov, being from Russia, has a strong following in his home country and other parts of the former Soviet Union where chess has traditionally been highly valued. Carlsen, hailing from Norway, has become a national hero and has inspired a surge of interest in chess within his country. Additionally, both players have a global fan base due to their accomplishments and charismatic personalities. Impact on the game. Kasparov's impact on chess history cannot be understated. He played a significant role in popularizing the game and contributing to its growth, especially with his battles against the Soviet chess establishment. Kasparov's rivalry with Anatoly Karpov in the 1980s, their World Chess Championship matches, and the subsequent split in the chess world with the creation of the Professional Chess Association PCA, attracted considerable attention. Carlsen, as the current World Chess Champion, has also had a substantial impact on the game, particularly by bringing chess to a wider audience through media appearances, sponsorships, and initiatives to make the game more accessible. Personal Appeal and Charisma Personal appeal and charisma can play a significant role in a player's popularity. Kasparov was known for his fierce competitiveness and passionate nature, which attracted a dedicated following. Carlsen, while more reserved in comparison, has a likable and humble demeanor, which resonates with many fans. Both players have engaged in activities outside of chess, such as endorsements, writing books, and participating in philanthropic efforts, which can further enhance their appeal and broaden their fan base. Ultimately, the preference for Magnus Carlsen or Garry Kasparov is subjective and depends on individual opinions, playing style preferences, cultural backgrounds, and personal experiences. It is not accurate to make a general statement that one player is universally liked more than the other, as both players have a substantial following and have made lasting contributions to the world of chess.